Ah, oh, hey there. I'm the Dino Tamer. But most people just call me Frank. For starters, yes, the pirate captain is my brother. Why we might not seem related is because we both grew up in different time periods. But enough about my family history. Let me tell you about my skills. I'm a hardworking, determined individual. I can also make fantastic dinosaur stew. And also, uh, wait, wait. Oh, you meant those skills. First, there's my basic attack. Holding down the left mouse button will shoot out darts. It may seem obvious, but the pointy end goes into the dinosaur. Next is my clever net. Press the right mouse button to throw it onto the ground. While it's active, she'll root enemies, drain energy, and damage enemies over time. Holding the button down longer will produce a larger net. This net covers more ground and can be thrown further. When you see the little sparkle on my net, it means that it's ready to throw at maximum size. The net is directly tied to my passive, but first I have to show you my friends. Pressing number one will throw down a hunk of meat. This will then summon a random dino buddy. The tree variations of the dinosaurs are as follows. DPS, damage over time, stun attacks, and tanking, which has more max health than the other dinosaurs and also takes aggro from enemies. The damage output of my dino buddies is determined based on my maximum magical damage, while their max health is based off of mine. This is where my passive ability comes into play. Killing an enemy that's been snared by my clever net will instantly reduce the cooldown on summoning another dino buddy. So long as the enemy continues to receive damage long after the net has despawned, the passive cooldown to my dino buddies will still apply. If you ever find yourself in a bit of a pinch, press number two for my ultimate ability. This will summon a dino mount. While riding this special dinosaur, it increases damage, movement speed, adds splash damage to my main attack, a stun attack for every time I summon a dino buddy, and every net I throw will be at max size. Max attack speed does affect my ultimate. And although you can use the chromatic emblem to reduce the cooldown on my abilities, the chronomancer cubesly doesn't work. Technically speaking, because my dino buddies are determined based on my maximum damage, while also being determined on my maximum health, it means that I could do damage as well as tank. But that's up to you. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you found this video helpful. I'll see you in Trove, and good luck!